Hey there drone fans, Rick here again from Drone Valley. In today's video, I'll be testing the precision landing capabilities of the brand new DJI Mini 3 Pro. Now the way I'm going to do this test is I'm going to take off and hover over the mat for maybe 15 or 20 seconds just to see if the downward facing sensors have any impact on its ability to land pretty much where it took off. I'm going to let it get a good GPS lock and then I'm going to send it downfield, raise it to about 80 feet. I'm going to hit the return home button and what I hope is going to happen is the drone's going to spin around in the air, fly back till it finds the mat, lower itself down until it actually hits the mat and land pretty much where it took off. Now, again, I haven't tested this yet. I've been flying it an awful lot, but this is one of those tests I love to do with the drone because precision landing isn't an absolute must for me. I love the fact that it just gets back close to where the mat is and I can land it if I need to, but it's one of the things people want to know about. And since the Mini 3 Pro has downward face optical sensors that should help a little bit with its precision landing so right now I've got it set up I've got 17 GPS satellites plenty of coordination there from the GPS so let me spin it up Take off. all right we're ready to go <laughs> here we go all right let me let me hover it over the mat there now I've got a really bright orange mat down there so that should give it some contrast between the mat and the grass around it I'm gonna give it another 10 seconds or so then I'll point it downfield send it up and let's see what happens <laughs> I love doing these kind of tests. All right, just a second. I think it's plenty of time. That's fair. All right, downfield we go. <laughs> and let me raise it up. All right, we're gonna send it out, I don't know, a couple hundred feet, let's see. That's 100. Let's give it another 50 or so. All right, that's 180 feet. And now what I'm gonna do is hit the return to home. Now, you have to hold the button and you'll hear it start beeping. So let me do that. That's the button right here. Go home. So it's heading home now, and I can tell you the drone is elevating. I've set the height for return to home at 100 feet, and it's elevating. It stopped elevating. It spun around. It's facing me. It's dead on for the mat, which is wonderful. That's a good sign, and it's coming back at a real fast pace here. All right, it's coming in. It's coming in. Still going really fast, and it's trying to find its position. It looks like it's hesitating a little bit up in the air. It's slowing down as it gets closer to the mat. Oh, this is perfect. And we're right at uh, we're right at 100 feet. It's right on the money. All right. Now it's really slowing down, and it would be pretty close to the mat right now. When it stopped, okay, it stopped. Oh, and it's spinning around. It's spinning around to face the direction it was facing when it took off, which is perfect. And now it's coming down. Now let's see if she slows down on the way down to make adjustments, like the other drones did with the optical sensors. Okay, still coming down at a pretty clip, pretty good clip there, and it's way off the mat. I can tell you, that it's nowhere close to the mat. It stopped a second. Looks a little confused. Let me uh, let me hope it makes an adjustment. It doesn't look like it's gonna. Okay, it stopped at that point. Now I'm in really, oh, this is great. I'm in really, really tall grass. So the drone looked down, didn't see the mat, couldn't find the mat, but it knows that the ground below it is too rough to land in, which is wonderful. So what I'm gonna do at this point is it says, area under aircraft unsuitable for landing, control aircraft to land in a safe area. That's exactly what you want. So if it can't find the mat, so it doesn't have precision landing yet, but that's a firmware update. The fact that it lands or it comes down in a safe area is great, but if it can't land in a safe area, it lets me take over control. So let me say, okay. And to make this test even more interesting, I've put the mat right in the middle of some really tall grass. So let's see if the manual pilot can land this thing on the mat. All right, here we go. And come on down. All right, pretty straightforward there. Good landing. Come on, Rick, hit the H. All right, boom, right in the middle of the H. So what that tells me is I've only done one test, right? So I'm going to do a few more to see if it changes. But essentially what the drone's going to do is use GPS, which it locks onto when you first take off, and head downfield. And then when you hit that return to home key, it's going to think, okay, I've got to get back to the mat. I know where the GPS location was where I took off. Let me turn around, head back, and land in that vicinity. Now, normally it would look down below it, and it would uh, look at what it saw when it took off, if it's taking an image of that uh, takeoff point, and it should find that takeoff point and make some minor adjustments, micro adjustments, to land right on that mat. The Mini 3 Pro doesn't do that yet. Now, again, I'm using beta firmware on this. It hasn't even been released yet, so hopefully the new version of firmware has that precision landing built in. A lot of other drones DJI's released didn't have precision landing when they first came out, and that was a feature they added later on. But right now, as of today, I think it's May 21st, maybe, May 20th, uh, there is no precision landing, but don't fret over that because, again, all I care about is if I lose sight of my drone or I'm not sure where it is, which happens occasionally, I wanna hit that return to home key, have it fly back to where it comes close enough to the mat where I can see it, I can take control and I can land it. Even better that it tries to land 
and if it finds an area like this that's got a lot of bramble and brush in it where it can't actually land safely, it stops coming down. So it knows there's stuff below it that it shouldn't land in, and it turns control back over to the pilot, which is exactly what I want. So anyway, that's pretty much it for today. I'll do a few more tests, and if one of those comes back with a precision landing, I'll let you know. I'll update the clip. But for now, I would say no precision landing on the Mini 3 Pro, but stay tuned because if that feature becomes available, I'll certainly do a follow-up clip. So thanks an awful lot for watching, and until next time, happy flying. Thank mm -hmm. you.